Dancer all over the head pin for us ball. Thought we were going to see another strike like uh, <laughs> last week with uh, Kendra Boomhauer. That would have been something. Both bowlers right in the pocket. Both have tough. Uh, well, we'll see if we get a spear here. Hey, little backdoor action. The ball popped out of the pit and caught the seven pin. I think the wood was going to take it anyway. But a nice spear nonetheless by Carly Robinson. And Manser, Danielle, finishing out with a nine. Another nice start by our ladies, Dan. Yeah, I couldn't make up my mind on Carly's shot whether I wanted to call it a, a good leave or a tough leave because she had the three pins very makeable, but then the wood came at kind of a tough angle. She did nice up top, and, and she needed that ball to bounce off the wall to carry the seven pin, but she got it, and she'll be trying to fill it big now. All our bowlers today will receive a $35 Simon Mall oh, gift card good. just for being participants. And uh, at any time, if our bowlers can put three consecutive marks together, uh, we'll turn that $35 gift card into a 50. Robinson going for two consecutive marks, filling that spare with seven all over it. All right, it's a $15 box here. It probably should be said for anybody looking to start bowling in this game. If the, I don't know if the camera is typically not on the bowlers when they throw it, but uh, these two girls have two of the best forms that you're going to see out of anybody bowling. Great follow through, good extension, smooth delivery. Another great ball. Carly great. Robinson. Oh, it was half over then. Should have been. Oh, we got a piece of dead wood coming up. Manser with an eight that second frame, 17 after two. Looks like the wood's going to drop in the gutter. It's not going to bother her. Had she asked, we would have removed it for her. Carly looking for the spare. Ball fell off, fell off the channel into the gutter for a nine. That would have been worth an uh, extra $15 on their gift card had she converted that. Still a great start. It's a two-string total that determines our champions and who will be moving on to the championship show June 29th at the Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill. Uh, Mansur with an eight that frame, 25 through three. Robinson with that nine is at 45. Big 20-pin difference in the match, but a couple of mocks, a couple of mocks by Mansur and Carroll. They could get themselves right back in this match. Another great ball by Carly. Really, both of the bowlers have been laying, uh, with one exception maybe, every ball right in the pocket. A little tougher leaves on 23. Manser going for the spear. Didn't quite to get the ball over. Uh, Danielle uh, is in, uh, when she's not bowling, she enjoys uh, being in a school chorus. Uh, she's also in a play called Pirates of the P uh, Penzance. Danielle's the defending all events champ for the state tournament that's coming up in another few weeks. Uh, she placed second in the all events in Portsmouth this past November. She currently averages 97 with a high single of 144 and a high triple of 364, uh, which just uh, recently earned her her 360 patch. She was very proud of and oh, showed yeah. me when she came in today. Uh, Danielle also said she's got 10 weeks in a row with a 300 plus score in her league. So she's been, she's been on fire. She had a very tough three and two split, Steve, and she uh, she had some wood behind the three. She hit it perfectly, but the wood may have actually cost her the shot there. It was a Robinson, good nice try on that four horseman. Manser with a big ten, some nice pinning, 45 through five. Their partners, the boys, will be coming up, and another nice ten by Carly Robinson and a 65. A great half by our young ladies. Both of them, both really. I mean. What can you say about Carly? 65 half is great. Here's the boys. Daniel probably bowled a little better than what she got, but both girls are off to a great start. Yeah, other than the uh, the eight pin break Danielle had, uh, she didn't really have a lot to shoot no. at. Uh, our boys not messing around. Uh, Sean Carroll on fire today during the roll off. Uh, big single pin. We'll see if he can convert it for for a spare. Get their uh, get their team on the board right away. Slid by it. Both boys sliding by the spare leaves. We got a little uh, contrast in styles. Uh, Lombardo likes to go. Yeah, Carol's rush. very deliberate. I was noticing that. Really myself. takes his time. <laughs> well, Carol with a nice ten. Picked up two pins, cut that deficit down to 18. 55-73.
I gotta say, from the perspective of the guy who does the video editing on a weekly basis, Sean Carroll is pretty much my challenge every week to try to get his strings to fit in under 10 minutes. <laughs> but he's a good boy. Nobody, we don't want ever. Well, he was on fire today. Yeah, he's bowling great. Especially moving up to the 12 to 14 age group, he was going against kids that you know that were a little more experienced than him. Little, oh, nice shot. Little older. Nice shot. What a shot! But uh, he's just throwing a great ball. There's a there's a reason why right there. Nice shot. Nice shot on the spear. Lombardo, a veteran on our show. Uh, big ten. solid 10. Well, Carroll be looking to cut into that 18 pin deficit with a big ball on that spear right here. See what he can do. On the quarter, four horsemen left side, fills it with six. Sean Carroll said he enjoys video games when he's not bowling, uh, but his, his main love is candlepin bowling. Uh, he had the high single in the States last year, and he'll be looking to defend that title. Uh, he's currently averaging 87 with a high single of 132 and a high triple of 315. And Lombardo, Lombardo uh, throwing his first spare of the match. Uh, between all four of these kids, uh, they've been on our show, I bet you, all of them combined uh, a dozen or more times. A lot of experience here with this match. So I got a word of advice for our bowler, Steve, the one who you said likes uh, video games and bowling. Two words for him. Way to combine them both. We bowling. That's it. It's He's fun. probably practicing right in his, right in his home, right in, the, right in the parlor. I know my son Brandon loves that we bowling. He's actually <laughs> very good at it. And uh, anytime I play him in anything, he really whoops my butt. Uh, Brandon tried out for the show today. Didn't have one of his better days. Wow! What a shot by Chris Lombardo. Four horsemen right side with the corner pin, the seven. Hit it beautifully. What a great shot. Carroll looking for a big out. Yeah. He throws a nice ball. Finishes with a seven frame. And it's 88 to 108. Robinson and Lombardo looking, looking for that top seed. I don't remember what it is, do you? You know, Dan, I always forget something, <laughs> we were and that's talking what about I forgot that. this month was, we was the uh, the top seed scores. And we were talking about maybe making a poster for our next stop so the kids will know. We do need to do do, do something. Lombardo, tough ball, filling that spear with one. Uh, Carroll would really love to make this shot. He's got some wood in there. He hit it, a little light. A uh, little light on it. But he put the ball there. Nice attempt. Lombardo with a big out. Yeah, he tried kind to make a, his spare, too, to try to make that three in a row. But kind of a funny piece of wood in there, though, yeah. Dan. Carroll with eight. Lombardo with eight. So at the end of our first game, Manser and Carroll, a respectable 96. And Robinson and uh, Lombardo at 117, a solid 117 game. Uh, we're going to go to break, and we're going to come, uh, come back with the strike ball jackpot. We're at $215, and uh, we'll see if our lucky, lucky participant can do it. So don't go away, folks. We'll be right back. All right, we're, we're here with the strike ball challenge. It's worth $215, and we have another parent of one of our bowlers, Joanne Manser. How are you doing today, kid? I'm doing good today. Last time you were with us, Joanne tried for the strike last year at Pilgrim Lanes. I, I believe you've done the best by dropping nine. You, you're the closest. So maybe today's the day. Maybe. Uh, we hope so. Uh, a great, fine young lady here takes her daughter to all our... TV tryouts, and uh, we can't thank her enough. Uh, just for having some fun, Joanne's going to get a $5 Dunkin' Donuts gift card, but uh, let's go get the 215. Right. Go get them, kid, whenever you're ready. Let's hear it for Joanne. <laughs> yes! oh. On the head, man. Good try. Good try, Joanne. Uh, another great attempt, uh, right on the head, Ben. Now we know where her daughter gets it from, from mom. Nice job, Joanne. And we'll, uh, we'll see you around real soon, I'm sure. Good job. Let's hear it again for Joanne.